Like nobody wants to hear that story. So what I had to do was double down on my efforts. How do I add more discipline so I can get better so that I can leave no doubt the next time I go to tryouts or confidence? You know, you work out, you practice all year to get one chance at a tryout. Your tryout might be one day or two days. So your 365 days of training comes down to two days. All right. How do you have the confidence to show up and perform in that moment when the lights are on and the pressure is on? So I started talking about confidence. So this is where mental toughness, discipline, confidence, all of these things came from. And they're the foundations of the work on your game philosophy. And then all of that with personal initiative, which means go and make something happen instead of waiting for things to happen. Actually, you no, know, not sitting around hoping an opportunity finds you, but going and creating an opportunity on your own. That's again, that's a sales skill. And that's yeah. something that just to take you back here, even when I was a teenager, you know, my parents where I told you my parents were all about discipline, do your chores, do your homework, et cetera. And they weren't even sports people. But they told me when I was 15, 16 years old, like, hey, you got to get a job. As soon as you're old enough to get a job, you have to get a job. So I worked, I probably had 20 jobs in my life before pro basketball. And I'm an entrepreneur now. I haven't had it in a while, but I had a bunch of jobs, four jobs of those people. So I worked at you know, Pizza Hut, uh, restaurants, McDonald's, CVS, the movie theater. I've done all of that kind of stuff. And even right. in trying to get those jobs as a teenager, you know, you're going to the mall on the weekends, walking into the store, asking for an application. Right, this is before you could apply on the Internet. All right. This is when you yeah. had to go in the store. They gave you a little <laughs> sheet of paper. You had an ink pen in your pocket. You, you go to the food court, fill out the application, bring it back. Yeah. We yeah. Call it, right. You know, those days. Right. Oh, so yeah. I had I had to do that. And so I had to learn how to sell myself through those applications. And then hopefully you get a call back for an interview. You had to sell yourself an interview. So I just selling myself is something that I've always needed to do, but I've always had a natural knack for sales. So, and uh, I'm gonna wrap up this answer here. I know it's a long answer. <laughs> uh, around 2002, I had got invited to this, this network marketing meeting. And at those meetings, these people would talk about personal development. I didn't know that was a thing. Another thing I didn't know about. 